Today I'm gonna be doing a drainage for the flood water cooling. So the water from here goes under the machine and it goes into the pump, which is pumping it back. I'm gonna be lifting this using clamp on a crowbar. And here is the water pump. So it's hard to see. I had this pipe which was preventing the splashes going all over the place when it was dripping from the top. Okay. So I have to lift that thing. It's pretty heavy. Okay, should do. And the hole is here. And I guess I have to find something to cut it. Uh, I think it's not the blood, no worries, that's just some uh, stain from <laughs> one of the renovations. Um, so, no worries. See how it fits. One part, some other part. What for is this thing? Okay, oh, that's sticky. Because that video is gonna take a while. Because uh, here, the water is gonna be going under this thing. And I don't really understand. Maybe it's because of the water was leaking, bulged or something. <sighs> Found it. <coughs> so, yes. I'm just guessing it wouldn't hurt to put some silicone in here I'm just gonna wipe it up just in case because it didn't come with the with the seal so I'm gonna make my own I guess in theory it's made in a way that it won't leak water, but let's say I don't trust it as much. And I'm gonna put uh, lots of silicone around here. And especially here, because here seems to be a hole. If it's too much, it's not a problem, I'm gonna wipe it out or actually smear it around. Uh, I don't care if it's pretty or not, as long as it's functional. Should be enough. in now I guess I have to use 
that thing. And the screw from the bottom. So, hmm. okay, it's done. Um, I plug the that pipe under the bottom, so it goes into the hole over here. And that's the pump. And that's the container. And uh, <coughs> I got that thing from Machinery House. Um, I think I paid two hundred. 40 New Zealand dollars for it, which I think is pretty good price. If you thinking about getting, uh, uh, you know, the pond pump uh, or something like that, which will cost you, you know, the pump to run from here up here, it has to be big. Uh, I had the I don't know if I throw it away or not. Uh, <coughs> oh, yep. 380 liters an hour. Which you think is like a bathtub of, of water, right? The 380 liters an hour pump couldn't pump the water from here to somewhere here to the to the spindle. So I had to take the, the hose, lower it down, so the pump has enough um, power to pump it somewhere here and then I was uh, moving it quickly up don't waste money get this and this it has uh, uh, some filter so it filters like a bigger chips and uh, yeah I'm just gonna smudge that thing around uh, give me a sec right. <coughs> I don't want to get dirty so I'm going to use the plastic bag. Yeah, I think that, that should be enough. Maybe I'm going to explain something more about the machine itself. Um, that uh, machinery house pump uh, comes with the mount and it's a magnetic mount so it wasn't any good for me so I drilled uh, two holes for the screws and I drilled I drilled that thing hole through and I mounted to the to the head and you know water and so on and it has a you know tiny valve so you can adjust the uh, flow um, I'm not using it as a full but it's almost there and it's really easy to adjust that hose so you can you know hose whatever you want um, and yeah I'm gonna turn it on now so that's the power of it and uh, if you go really fast and then start whoopsie yeah it has enough force to blow most of the chips or actually all of them depends how deep you cut uh, I can hear it's something dripping so that's my setup and uh, it was a temporal setup which turned into kind of <laughs> permanent setup that was my dodgy mod on the water cooling system i hope you like it and see you soon nope.